to every New Yorker and to all those who believed in what I tried to stand for, I sincerely apologize. It was too little too late. The New York governor, whose fall from grace splashed across nationwide headlines over the past week, decided it was time to step down. I am resigning from the office of governor. At Lieutenant Governor Patterson's request, the resignation will be effective Monday, March 17. Threatened with the possibility of impeachment, Spitzer publicly announced his resignation Wednesday to a room full of the press. The former attorney general roared into the governor's office proud to be known as morally upright, but now leaves the post publicly shamed after he was caught in federal wiretaps apparently arranging a meeting with a high-priced call girl in a Washington hotel. The prostitution ring known as the Emperor's Club VIP charged clients as much as $5,500 for a single hour. Jason Itzler ran arguably New York's biggest high-priced prostitution ring called New York Confidential. Fresh out of jail just seven months ago, he may be the only New Yorker not shocked by Spitzer's actions. I had heard rumors that Spitzer was uh, a dream client for an escort agency, both politically and money-wise. Um, I never believed it. So um, I would be lying if I said I was surprised when I heard his name. And according to him, the list of high-profile clients isn't likely to end with Spitzer. I, I think um, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I think that uh, logically, any escort agency that um, has the ability to attract Elliot Spitzer could attract other people that are similar. I think that it would be ridiculous to assume that Elliot Spitzer is the only high-profile guy attracted to this agency. This agency obviously did something right to give him the false sense of his security. Although his days as governor are numbered, the big question now is what will happen next to Elliot Spitzer? Prosecutors are keeping a tight lid on whether or not they will press criminal charges, but with all the mounting evidence, it will be hard for the governor to get out of this unscathed. Fani Ghosh, the Associated Press, New York.